Justin, a.k. Yearling, author of the critically and Rainbow Dash acclaimed Daring Do book series, has quit being Daring Do. Unreliable sources have confirmed that the exploits of Daring Do are not, in fact, the work of fiction, but the retelling of true stories. A.K. Yearling is actually Daring Do! Unbeknownst to Miss Yearling, however, was that her feats of adventure and daring are completely unnecessary in a world ruled by superpowered beings with near-omnipotent magic. In one instance where Daring Do's life was in danger multiple times, arch-nemesis and hand-butted Awizotl tried to use an ancient power to boil the planet with the sun. Asked if this would in fact pose a danger, sun-controlling Princess Celestia responded, Lol. In another event, an ancient evil with a big nose tried to steal the moon. Daring Do broke a wing, burned her tail, and sustained massive head trauma to save the moon, and yet turns out the moon actually gets stolen on a regular basis. Well, not stolen, more like misplaced. Luna likes to take it out for a spin on Tuesdays, and sometimes that hairpin turnaround Saturn can get tricky. The last straw came when Awizotl actually succeeded in releasing Turek from Tartarus. Daring Do had a whole plan laid out to stop him. She was going to combine the powers of the ancient topaz of Str Stormhold, the soul jar of the Marquis de Carabas, a burning duck, Fat Charlie's lime, then put him in a coconut and drink him both up. She had everything but the lime when she discovered that Princess Twilight Sparkle just nuked the guy. Daring Do has released a statement, quoting, <clears throat> Why have I been saving the world all these years when these super-powered princesses can just do everything? I quit. I'm going back to writing Neil Gaiman fanfiction like I've always wanted. Princess Celestia responded to this loss of a great hero by saying, Meh, I'm more of a Terry Pratchett fan. I'm Joe Stevens, and this has been a news brief from the Equestrian Inquirer.